and this is one back to the Baby Whisper today. I'll be doing my first wet folding tutorial. It is on my rhinoceros. So, let's get started. I do not have the model right now to show you that I can find anywhere, but you'll see at the end of the video, I guess, and in the thumbnail, hopefully, assuming I post it. Okay, so, let's get started. So, first, you're gonna take your damp cloth, or your spray bottle, and you're gonna wet your paper, or whatever way you like. Make sure you're using a very thick paper, like cardstock thickness paper. I like using um, Kinuami paper, or otherwise known as rhinoceros hide. Why? I don't know why it's called that. I don't know. Maybe it, feel, it has the texture of one. I don't think I want to know one, what it feels like, honestly. Because I'm a huge environmentalist. But basically, let's, keep, let's get started. So start, of course, like I said, by wetting your paper with a damp cloth. Then you can turn over and wet in the other way. In the other direction, I mean. You know, hopefully. I'll be using a 35 by 35 centimeter sheet of, um, what's it called? Um, of Kinumami. I love that. I love that name so much. Kinumami? Sounds like Kenny Mommy, it's so funny, but basically, my dad loves that paper name, but you got the point. So, enough with the joking around, so let's get started once I finish wetting the paper. Okay, let's get started. So now, once you wet your paper... You're going to start by folding in half in every single direction. So that means half vertically, horizontally, and diagonally both ways. Oops, wrong thing. I'm sure you can box food models, aren't I? Like I said, if you need to slow down the video, feel free to, and it will always be happy to rewind. Feel free to rewind, you know what I mean, right? Hopefully, I'm out of it. There we go, that's much better. Now, you're going to fold the, this edge to the diagonal crease. Now, unfold and repeat with this edge. Then, corner to look like this. So, do that on all four corners total. So, the three other corners. Basically, creating the ankle bisector. One of the ankle bisectors. You get the point, right? Hopefully. Ang the ankle bisector, yeah. Again, if I'm going too fast, you can throw it on the video. You can pause it, do whatever you like. I'm just a fast folder. Just my face. Just let you yourself do yours. Take your time. Oh guys, remember the comments are now on for um for appropriate comments. And feel free to give me any small suggestions. If you feel like it should be a bit more personal, you can always email me. So I'll put that in the, my email in the description. So um so you can check so you can email me. Just don't give any private per, private information. Just tell me what the model is or some happy thoughts, and just leave it at that. You know. Okay. I'll, if I don't remember, I'll try. Hopefully, I do. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so now, you should look, your paper should look like this. Turn it over. And what you're going to do now, 
is you're gonna fold along, you're basically gonna turn one of the edges towards you, you're gonna fold along this crease, and this crease is now in folds. And go along the halfway crease in the middle as a valley fold. And then create a rabbit ear with the creases I just showed you to make and fold that black to the side. Again, basically take this crease as an unfold, basically this and this crease as an unfold, creating a rabbit ear, and you go and you fold down a valley fold along the middle, the middle line. Then fold this flap to both sides and settle it on one of them. Doesn't matter which one it is. Now turn over and repeat. Then fold this edge, and then fold the flap to both sides just like before. Now finally, you're gonna make um, a swivel fold. Basically creating a mountain fold along the existing, this existing crease. And fold that and keep swiveling until it, that crease that was originally at this, the, the crease goes from this corner to that, that makes this point to you basically. Then or on the other side, all the, the other four side. You get the point, the, the other direction and then the two on the other side. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a similar type of fold, a swivel fold. So we're doing two at once. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Basically what we're gonna do is you're gonna fold along this mountain fold and this mountain fold and these two valley folds you made by folding the flap to both sides. And repeat on the other side. So mountain fold, mountain fold, which act, instantly activates the valleys. It should look like this is symmetrical animal base. If you want to go into more depth, check out my animal base and shaping videos tutorial in um, my videos section. Okay, so now what we're gonna do we are gonna start by doing the next step, which is, I think is cool. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna fold, actually, we're gonna fold a whole base and model in half. And then you're gonna take this corner, the, the right angle, and fold it as far as the diagonal crease that separates it in half goes. I'll show you what I mean. So there's gonna be a crease over here. And you're gonna fold it to the, where that crease ends, that corner and crease strongly, very strongly. Now, unfold those two creases and fold along. So basically the crease you just made to fold it in half, make both sides of that amount and fold. And turn the model over. There should be four mountain folds making this diamond, rhombus, diamond, whatever you wanna call it. So that I like calling them diamond thingies, you might know from my tutorials, my other tutorials. Then you're gonna bring to the two edges that two edges that are long from the longer vertical folds together and fold it down. Just make sure they line up really well. And then you can then you can flatten it by folding these to the side. So you're gonna put pinch it here and fold these as far down as they go. Hmm, one sec, sorry.
There we go. Now, what we're gonna do is it's actually pretty simple from here. All we have to do is take this and fold this from here to here, basically making a crease that goes from this point, basically from this, where this edge meets this edge to the end of the model. Then you're gonna open this section and pop it in what you just folded. Basically you're close syncing it. Then turn over and repeat. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a reverse fold. So how we're gonna do that actually is pretty interesting. I know I keep saying that, but I think it's cool. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold this, this, this flap to the side, fold this down while making a reverse fold as far as it can go so that it touches this corner. It should look like this. Basically going from this corner to this corner. It's hard to explain, but I'll show you the again best I can. Like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold we're basically gonna Basically, we're gonna do a similar thing that we did with the, with basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold this to, this edge to this edge, using that out. And then we're gonna basically, um, we're basically gonna, um, it's hard to explain, but I'll show you the best I can. Basically, we're gonna go along those creases we just made as an Allen fold. Wow, we, push these along the tail or the end we're working on right now and then we're gonna fold it like this and then we're gonna tuck these in just like this and we're gonna fold another reverse fold on these two things to make the butt. We're gonna shape this later. Now we're gonna shape the rhino head. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this up. You can make a reverse fold. Then you're gonna fold this edge, the edge to the other edge, only one layer. Or at least the thick, the first part, the half half the layers, and repeat on the other side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a fold so that. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, is we're basically gonna fold from this point all the way to right over here and repeat over here on the other side, I mean. Try to show the best I can. It's not really a reference point. It's more of like um, a to your taste thing and we're gonna create another diamond shape, another diamond thingy. Except instead of closing it, we're gonna close sync it. Not really, um, I just realized we're doing that wrong. Um, basically what we're gonna do is once we finish getting it ready, is we, we're gonna tuck it inside. 
and I'll show you what I mean by that. Basically, we're going to take both of them and make a mountain fold between them, actually. This is going to be a bit different than the other models, I know. This is the animal base. And smooch, smush them together, the two ends of the, the diamond shape. And then fold this down. And then finally fold this back. flat which is why we're going to flatten it just like just like one sec just like this and then we're going to basically basically gonna um all we have to do from here to finish up the head is create um this crease and this crease. No, actually, you can't see. I did this wrong. We're actually gonna work on the legs now. Sorry, I haven't done this in a while. These we're gonna fold, fold the legs back. This is, I just, you know, this is not part of my hyper-realistic work on these series. It's not going to look at anything. But until I know how hyper-realistically that is. Now we're going to sink the legs in. Now what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna fold this part, in our mind actually. We're gonna fold the legs forward like this, the back legs I mean specifically. As far as the let, as the paper will let you, basically re, in, basically inverting the butt cheeks. I know it sounds so weird when you say it out loud. But yeah, it's kind of what we're getting. And we're gonna change one thing. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna start shaking the legs. So first thing we gotta do is create a reverse fold. Just like this. And repeat on the front legs. So we're gonna do it differently. Since it's a bit weird, we're gonna, instead, we're gonna fold this here and create it, the, the rabbit ears, similarly, because there's a catch. We have to, instead of folding it backwards, it's forwards, we're going to fold it backwards and then forwards. By that, I mean like, like this. And turn over and repeat. So, you create the rabbit ear. Fold backwards and then forwards. We're gonna make the horn a bit bigger, actually. You can test 
how you, we can do whatever you want in the face, honestly. I don't really care. I'm usually working on the body. And then finally, what you're gonna do is you're gonna, uh, one sec. What you're gonna do is, um, we're gonna, um, is you're gonna fold this here, basically creating a double reverse flood, as I like to call it, which bring, brings the legs forward in the right, in a better position, position, sorry, I totally misspoke there. And now we're going to start shaping for real this time. We're going to start by pinching the tail. Creating it. Basically making it so that it um is um basically has like this kind of thing at the end. It looks like this. It should look like this. Then here we're going um, to start shaping the legs. So how we do that is we basically tuck the um the um basically tuck the um the um some parts of the legs on the inside and some parts on the out by that I'll, I'll show you what i mean in a sec basically um what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this in and this in and then put the hoof down i think it's a hoof i'm not completely sure whatever it is you're gonna put it down and we're basically gonna make sure it locks so how we do that we put one flap on top of the other, or one edge, I should say. And you repeat over on um, all of the three other legs. And now, the final step, making the stomach. It's actually pretty simple. All I have to do is open it, push in, and then we have to tuck this on it itself. Actually, I forgot the step, actually. We have to make another diamond. I know, it's crazy. This one we're, is gonna be a bit more freehand. You're welcome. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in and this in, basically folding the top edge, the pointy parts, all the way inside. And then we're going to tuck one inside of the other. I'll show you what I mean. Basically, going to tuck this edge, pointy part inside of this pointy part. It's hard, it's hard to explain, but I'll show you the best I can. And then finally, we're going to push this belly upward. And push the belly outwards too. Once you tuck this in, you should be done actually. I'm gonna tuck one flap inside the other, like I said. Now that we have the belly puffed out, the stomach, whatever. And all we have to do is make thicker legs, but I'll work on that another time. And we have our attempt of making a rhino. 
hope you had a great day and enjoy your day and have sorry i have hope you have a great day enjoy the tutorial see you next time bye